Hello and welcome to A-Level Maths and A-Level Further Maths. Uh, I'm Mr Adam and I'm going to run through a few aspects of the course and then we're going to hear from some of our fantastic students about uh, A-Level Maths at Prince Henry's. So I'm going to go through the course structure and then we've got three students that are going to go through um, will the course be useful to you, what do universities think about maths, uh, what can I do to prepare for A-Level Maths and how will the maths department look after me. Right, so the first question you should ask yourself is, which maths shall I do? Well, we've got sort of normal A-level maths, where you need at least a grade 7 or better. We may consider a grade 6 in some circumstances, but it's a 7 or better, really. Um, so that's one A-level, and it's your standard A-level maths. Um, we've also got A-level further maths. Now, to do A-level further maths, you have to also take A-level maths, so that would be two A-levels. Um, and you need a grade 8 or better, but we may consider a grade 7 in some circumstances. And the other option that you have is a level 3 core maths, which is a qualification that you study in enrichment time, um, and it's worth an AS uh, in terms of UCAS points, and you can still take your three A-levels and take core maths. Um, so it complements subjects like biology, chemistry, um, psychology and geography, which have some aspects of maths in them. Right, so why sh uh, should you study A-level maths? Well, it's really stimulating and challenging. So all A-levels are challenging, but maths at A-level is particularly challenging. Um, so it's always good to be challenged. So um, because it's so challenging, it develops key employability skills, such as problem solving, logical reasoning, and communication resilience. Um, and it really increases your knowledge and understanding of mathematical techniques and their applications. So at, at GCSE, you study, um, you do maths, and it's not always, uh, you can't always see the application of the algebra that you do. But in A-level maths, there's a lot more application with the um, the maths that you study. So you can actually see why you're why you're studying it. Um, it supports study of other A-levels really well. So if you do physics, for example, there's loads of maths in, uh, in physics. Um, but like I say, um, A-levels like psychology, um, chemistry, geography, biology, also have quite a lot of maths in these days. Um, it's excellent preparation for a wide range of university courses. So universities really like students who, do, who have done A-level maths. It's, you know, it's well respected at uh, A-level. It's a versatile qualification that is, as I say, highly respected by employers and a, a higher education. So in the future, when you've got your A-level maths, um, employers and universities will look at that and think, you know, this student knows what they're talking about. Um, so yeah, it's a really good option to take. Right, so what do you actually um, cover in A-level maths? Well, there's three strands. There's two thirds that are pure maths. So that's things like graphs, quadratics, algebra, trigonometry, vectors, which you've already done already, but we go much further with it. And there's new aspects of pure maths, like calculus and, and some proof that you haven't done before. Um, but as I say, most of A-level maths is um, pure maths, and that's two thirds. So you have done some of that already. There's a third, uh, sorry, uh, a sixth, which is statistics. So at the moment, you do things like probability and histograms, and we go even further with that. We look at things like um, variance and standard deviation. We look at things something called hypothesis testing. Uh, we look at probability and Venn diagrams much more deeper than GCSE. And then there's another sixth or seventeen percent, which is mechanics. So you've probably done a little bit of mechanics already. Um, in physics GCSC, but that's things like uh, modeling motion objects, forces acting on objects, uh, the constant acceleration formula. Um, so they're the sort of the three strands. And um, when you start doing your A level maths, you have two teachers. So you have um, one teacher will be your pure teacher, and they'll teach you for five lessons a fortnight. And the other teacher is your applied teacher, and they'll have you for four lessons a fortnight, and they'll teach the stats and mechanics aspect. And it's assessed by um, three papers, so two of them are pure, um, and they are two hours each, and there's one applied paper, which is uh, two hours. Right, so this is some of the different maths you might be studying, what well, you will be studying. So we've got um, Venn diagrams, uh, set theory, we've got forces on that wine bottle and why it's in equilibrium. We've got the mass calculator that we encourage you to buy, which you can do all sorts of very exciting um, different things, like you can... Um, solve quadratics, solve cubics, you can do uh, hypothesis testing on it, you can do all sorts of uh, clever probabilities, you can do lots of stats functions. Um, SIRDs, so lots of SIRDs in A-level maths, so 
um, what what serves or what the serves aspect will be that your answer might be in serve form, uh, for example. And we'll look at lots of work with graphs. So we've got some log graphs there. This the graph in the middle with the blocks that's sort of representing the area under the curve. We use integration to find that. And there's obviously graphs of circles and quadratics and etc. So. Right, so if you choose to do um, further maths, remember that is an additional A-level and you have to do A-level maths. Uh, yet you, Everyone will do further pure maths, um, so which goes much deeper than A-level maths. <clears throat> and also everyone will do discrete maths, um, but you also might have some choices, especially in the second year. So you might want to do some more stats, more mechanics, more pure. Uh, so Mr Cooper mainly teaches further maths, but Mr Fishburne also teaches uh, some of the further maths. Right, so there's my contact details, amn at princehenry.co.uk, so that's me, Mr. Adam, if you've got any questions, and the other email address is Mr. Fishburne, who is the head of the department, uh, head of the maths department at Prince Henry's. I'm now going to um, uh, move over, uh, and some of our fantastic students will answer some of these questions, so hopefully I'll see you next year. A-level maths is known as a facilitating A-level, which means that it's wanted by lots of universities. So even if you're unsure of what you want to do at university, it's a good course to take because it opens lots of doors for you in the future. You also learn transferable skills through studying A-level maths, which can be applied to your other subjects and your future study as well. The best way to prepare for your A-level maths is to make sure you're on top of your GCSEs. By being on top of your GCSE, content, you're able to build upon that at A level, as every topic at the start of year 12 builds upon simple GCSE concepts, and by doing this it will give you a great lead into the rest of the year. I think that the support for students in A level maths is exemplary. You're tested frequently on your topics and you're given a variety of past questions and past papers that you can do to make sure that you understand the subject. You're also given access to an online textbook, well, four online textbooks in total, and you can do questions there or learn content yourself if you missed, or missed a bit or feel a little behind on a certain section. And also, um, I spent a lot of the last year in supported study voluntarily, which um, is where you can do maths and there are teachers there to help you and make sure that you understand something if you're stuck on it.